So what's Admiral Courtney, who's a very cool, calm, collected customer, really talking about here? Well, what he's trying to tell people is that the Russians are developing a new long-range cruise missile. What does that mean? It means they have in development and potentially ready to go a missile that they could fire from two, 3,000 miles away, low-flying, very precise, and the issue is, if they really deploy this kind of missile technology, they could hold the U.S. and Europe at risk. They could be within range of key targets in those areas. So have a listen to what he had to say about this just yesterday. The long-range aviation, Russian long-range aviation, um, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty significant increase in numbers. Um, and, and what concerns me more are two things. It's the um, where they're flying, even through the English, down the English Channel. It's where they're flying that has not been what they've done in the past, even back with the Soviet Union, and the development of the cruise missiles that they have that have a very long range. That from, uh, from the Russian, from Eastern Russia, they can range critical infrastructure in Alaska and in Canada that we rely on for a homeland defense mission. So put that cruise missile on one of these long-range Russian bombers, put it on a Russian submarine under the ocean that cannot be detected potentially, put it on a Russian warship. These are the problems now if the Russians continue to pursue this technology. What, you know, the U.S. doesn't think that Russia is about to attack this country. It's not really about that, but it's about the uncertainty, the potential for miscalculation, this this problem over the last year or so that fundamentally nobody really knows what Vladimir Putin, the Russian leader, is up to. And if this is his next step, what does that really mean for the U.S.?